Welcome back. Here's the aerial scene of Memorial Stadium in Lincoln for the Volleyball Day in Nebraska event. A total of 92,003 fans in attendance, setting a world record for a women's sporting event. Our own Noah Sacco has more. Well, back in February, Nebraska head volleyball coach John Cook said, at Nebraska, we aim to dream big and raise the bar. And today, that bar is being shattered. The first ever volleyball matches inside Memorial Stadium for the inaugural Volleyball Day in Nebraska with Wayne State, UNK, Nebraska, and UNO. A celebration of women's volleyball, women's sports, and the Cornhusker State with an NCAA record 85,000 plus in the stands and more looking to break the American and world women's sports attendance records. Let's kick things off with Wildcats and Lopers exhibition style. Wildcat Nation is ready. Stands are filling up. Check out all the fans. Unreal. And there's number four Wayne State. Wildcats first match versus Nebraska Kearney since 2015. Starting in set one. Lopes out to a 5-0 lead. But here come the Cats. Chanity Roble stuffs it for the block. Wayne State gets their first point in Memorial. It was that fire they needed. Later, Wayne State battles back to knot it up at eights. Senior Kelsey Cotta gives them their first lead with the kill. One of her seven today. 9-8 Wildcats. Wayne State feeling the energy. 16-14 now. Maggie Bramer with a perfect placement. Count the kill. Pierce native led the team with eight kills in this one. Lopers though not letting up. Moments later, Teresa Marks and Peyton Neff throwing up the hands. Blocked. UNK with life. But Wayne State keeps their foot on the pedal. Set point 24-17. It's the freshman Robles rising and firing for the kill. Catches the corner to take set one 25-17. Wildcats take set two 25-17 to win the best of three match. But they're playing a set three regardless. And they'll take another one. Lainey Cathel brings down the hammer on match point 15-12. As the Wildcats earn the sweep at Memorial. Three zip the final. A once in a lifetime experience. And the team says they couldn't be more grateful to be a part of it. They got to do something tonight that they'll never get to do again, ever. None of them, and myself included. I never thought that the biggest match I'd ever coach in my life would be an exhibition two out of three you know, in a football stadium. The entire country is watching this tonight, and there are so many volleyball lovers out there, but in Nebraska, this is the mecca of volleyball. Nebraska is such a special place, and it's full of special people um, just to come here and watch, and, and yeah, it's awesome. Everybody wants to see other women and other females perform at the highest level and they want what's best for them. And this is just a huge step in the right direction. It was just, I can't, that couldn't have been a better experience for me. Now the nightcap, number four Nebraska getting an awesome tunnel walk treatment battle in UNO. Full house crowd is rocking as libero Lexi Rodriguez is introduced historic sites. First set, Mavericks working it around the net. Kill goes long. Huskers take the opening point. Crowd is loving it. Later, Huskers jump out to a 20 to 10 lead. Andy Jackson powering it down on the panels. Team high eight kills from her tonight. Huskers feeling the power. Set point, Mavericks serving it up, looking for a comeback. Out of bounds, Huskers take set one and two, 25-14. They kept that national prominence into match point. Allie Badenhorst ready and waiting. She earns the deciding kill. Huskers take set three, 25-13, and the match three zip. But that wasn't the biggest news of the night. Final attendance at Memorial, 92,003. A new American and world women's sport event record. Simply amazing. The night wrapped up with a concert from American Idol winner Scotty McCreary, capping off a monumental night for Nebraska volleyball and women's sports. There's no place like Nebraska, and Volleyball Day in Nebraska is something anyone who is in Memorial Stadium for will never forget. In Lincoln, Noah Sacco, KCAU 9 Sports.